on the recording. Okay, how to be an efficient recruiter? Okay, we uh, this is one of the one of the one of the very important part um, that we need to be good at in order to build a bigger team. Uh, this is where you want to learn more and more. Now, in order to be a good recruiter. In order to be a good recruiter, we need to be able to make a good choice. That's very important because uh, making your choice of a good company, uh, that's better than working hard. We all say a better choice is better than working hard. Uh, so good choice is better than great efforts. When you have the company, when you have the product, when you have the price, uh, well priced, the opportunity timing very well, and the, and the leadership in the in the in the team, uh, that's where all the five elements elements put together, uh, you are going to be successful. So uh, we have all the five elements. We have all the elements you need for being successful. So uh, how to build your confidence when you want to move ahead? You want your higher confidence level, and confidence is uh, uh, is a key to to. Um, success of your business. So on one side, we are building confidence by attending like this morning's leadership cocktail, by attending this meeting. Every time we attend, we are trying to build one more percent or half a percent of confidence. So when you when you when you do that, you gain confidence. And when you walk out, go and talk to somebody and then they beat you up. Especially your family members, your your pe the people that you 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 uh, trust and expect them to be a big leader, they don't do that. Then you lose confidence. So you lose off some confidence. So every time you build, you lose somewhere else. And then, uh, but depending on how fast you build it and how fast you lose it. So if you are building faster than losing it, then you are continue to build it. If you are losing faster than the then you when you are building it then you are going to, to fade out. You are going to be uh, to drop out even. So that's why we want to build our confidence on a consistent level. Now, this, the third way is learn your trade. You really need to be a university student. When you enter the Openness Global University, uh, you, you start learning about the products, you learn about the industry, you learn about uh, the APC, ABC principles. Uh, we can go into details with that one when we have a chance. And you learn, you have to learn about the back office, how to navigate through the back office. Uh, you are able to do everything in the back office, including you want to set up, check volume, check your organization. And then you need to learn how to use uh, social media, Zoom calls and WhatsApp and all of that. Especially you have to train your people how to do those things. So whenever you sign up somebody, if they are not on Zoom call, well, download it for them on the spot and then set it up for them. So even do a trial run to get them started on Zoom call and the similar things with WhatsApp. If they are not on WhatsApp, set it up for them. And uh, be a product of the product, show your muscle, show your skin, show your hair. And uh, as we use the product, we, uh, Right now, let's say Michelle is doing a great job putting uh, the beautiful uh, fashion products on her, on her, on her neck, on her uh, hands, uh, on her shoes, everything. So this is how we show our uh, company products. But uh, most importantly, you take the function of life and change your body from inside out. You make it younger, make it more beautiful, and keep your youth and all that. And that's how you attract people. We control our weight, manage our hair, use facial care system to beautify your face and a fashion product line to shine on you. And don't prejudge, don't count on any, don't count out anyone, but start from the more promising ones. You always uh, start from uh, the people who you trust the most and who you, um, you think are the most promising ones, uh, but never be, be surprised and be disappointed if they don't join you. Uh, because they are the ones that you count on, but if they reject you, that's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to, to jump the bridge if they do, because uh, that's just where we start, but, uh, but we, we will always come back to them later. Start from your warm list, 
Everybody is potentially possible. No one, no is not now. So when they say no, it just means I'm not ready yet. Uh, don't expect to sign up people right away, but build the trust and the relationship first. Uh, don't be disappointed if they don't sign up. I expect, but expect, expect the possibility that they will not sign up. So if they don't sign up, don't be disappointed. And I always try to build the trust and relationship first. And it's all about a numbers game. <clears throat> some will, some won't, so what? Someone is waiting out there. You just have to, to flip the cards and then see which one is the, the more uh, ready one. And uh, we always look at the 80, 80%, 20% rule. If you, uh, if you talk to uh, 100 people, 80 of them will not listen to you. 20% will listen to you, but only maybe 20 out of the 20% that will sign up. And only one out of four would, would have worked on the business. So uh, out of 100 people you talk to, maybe one person would sit down to do the business with you. So that's just uh, the rule. So don't be surprised if it worked out otherwise. Uh, uh, so also don't be disappointed if uh, this is the case. Some people, they talk to five people, 10 people, and, uh, and come back and say, no, this is not the business. This doesn't work. Uh, I already talked to everybody, which is five people, and that's not enough. So you, we need, need to talk to more people. And number two is to imagine uh, yourself to be a coffee shop server. If you're handing out your coffee to the people on the table and they say, no, I don't want coffee. Are you going to kill yourself? No, you just uh, ask them whether they like uh, to have a uh, tea or something else instead. Uh, same thing with, um, uh, don't take it personally if they say no. They are not saying no because it's you or because they have something personal, uh, um, personal problem with you. It's just they don't need it right now. They want something else. And uh, always have tools and samples on you. So I always have enough of stuff in my car, uh, like brochures, business cards, even banners sometimes. And uh, I have enough products. The Font of Life is a very um, heat resistant and cold resistant uh, product. So it's kind of easy to store and uh, keep, uh, you don't even have to put it in a fridge. You, you, uh, it's, it's easy to, uh, to uh, carry your product. Uh, don't need to worry about being spoiled and all that. Uh, be prepared to sell and sign up prospects. Also have your, like, your pens maybe even to write down their phone numbers, the address or whatever you need for them and uh, uh, have data on your phone or laptop computer so you can uh, do it right on spot. I always have pen and paper on you. Use form to create topics and build relationship. Uh, sometimes we just have to find uh, the, 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 the starting point to, to break the ice. So if you're in an in a elevator, just uh, say something to the person that's on, sitting on the Standing on the other side of the, the elevator, uh, say, uh, nice weather, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, a beautiful dog that you have. I like your shoes. Always make a comment that people will not uh, uh, be offended. Uh, so always uh, compliment um, um, their beautiful look, their beautiful clothes, or something they wear, something they, they, um, uh, they have. Uh, so, and then uh, you can, when you sit down with somebody with some more time, then you talk about family, about occupation, about the recreation, about money, anything that you can start a conversation, keep the conversation going is where you dig out the information that you need from that person, because you, you want to be able to find, the, find where the itchiness is, where they have problems, where they need help. And then you, uh, you can uh, fit in the topic of, the openness global or function of life, uh, whichever way it works out. Now, uh, know how to handle objections. If, um, if people say they don't have time, they have money, they don't have, um, or their family is against the multi-level marketing, or I don't want to affect my current business, all of this, you have to uh, find, uh, find the, the best uh, answer for yourself. So you want to practice on these, and, uh, and I find that the, uh, the, the best answer 
uh, let's say if they say I don't have time, okay, uh, we could uh, actually uh, turn it around and say, that's exactly why I'm talking to you because uh, when I started a business, I, or before I started a business myself, I have uh, very little time to enjoy life, to travel, to do anything, uh, because I, I need to uh, stick with the, let's say the clinic or my patients. But now since I have, uh, I have uh, built a business uh, that is giving me the residual income, I have time to travel, uh, my business uh, is uh, being carried on without me participating even when I'm traveling, and I come back with a, with a beautiful check or something, and this is uh, just so, uh, find a way to de deal with these uh, issues. And, uh, and uh, uh, same thing with money, or with uh, uh, family. Uh, sometimes I would tell them that my family is uh, similar in the beginning, but now they turn around 100%. They don't, wa they don't uh, uh, want to bother me anymore because uh, I am doing well, uh, uh, succeeding in the business. So that's, that's why. Uh, it's it's uh, understandable because uh, the whole industry is quite messy, uh, but uh, we we just find the gold in this industry. And if somebody is uh, is having the business doing well, or they are they don't want to affect the business, uh, that's fine. You just just let them try the product, let them uh, find out how powerful the product is, and then they won't even shut up. Okay. Uh, don't give up. No doesn't mean no. It just means not now. So we always want to revisit your name list every two to three months. Uh, you want to uh, go over your list uh, um, from time to time to find who is more ready and who is on vacation, who is coming back when and all that uh, so that you keep on top of the list. And notify your product each time you make some improvement, such as uh, Qualify for cruise, rank advancement, company promotion, anniversary, a conference, or you uh, one time you are getting on a Zoom call, hosting a call or something. Uh, so what uh, Michelle could have done today, or even yesterday, the day before yesterday, a week ago, you could have sent the picture of our meeting schedule uh, to everybody you know. Tell them that you are doing well and you are. Um, uh, you are becoming very very important for the company of Optimus Global. And that's how people, they come back to appreciate what you're doing. And they, they, they want to uh, probably be uh, like you. So um, that's very important. And the other thing that I, I want to mention to Michelle is uh, uh, we forgot to, uh, to make people co-host so they can show their face, show their video. That way is more lively when they testify, when they when they make a comments, make a whatever. It's uh, for people to the the viewers um, audience. It's easier if they are on Zoom uh, on on video. So uh, because I I realized I wasn't on I wasn't the host, so I couldn't find the button to make the uh, co-host or make them uh, uh, the video open the video. So I forgot that you were the one that controlling those buttons. Uh, notify your prospect each time you make uh, some improvement. So something that you do special, you tell them. Now make best use of social media. Uh, we uh, the Chinese we have moments on WeChat and we have Facebook. We we use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Messenger, Signal, Telegram, LinkedIn. So whenever I install something like a Signal, uh, the people that are in my in my contact list they pop up and say. He is on signal. This person is on signal. Then I, it always keep, keep reminding me who I, uh, who else I know. So when you install these uh, uh, apps on your computer, on, I mean on your cell phone, you always uh, uh, send more new uh, prospects to you in your contact list. So if you have built up a good list, uh, you would have lots of people to talk to. And a recruiting is not an event, it's a process. A look and act like you are successful. Everybody would like to work with uh, or join a team that is successful. So uh, even before you become hugely successful, you always look and act like you are successful. So that's very important. You dress up, you talk uh, successfully, <laughs> you do it in, the, in a professional way so that people would, uh, would uh, respect you. And be moderate in pushing for sign up. 
So, um, well, sometimes we do need to uh, kick, <laughs> kick and try, but uh, we just uh, do it uh, nicely and easily. Uh, don't overdo it. Now, build your business and make your first check as soon as you can. Uh, whenever you, you join a business, um, people would like to, to, to ask you to show you, show you, show me the money. They want to make sure that you are making money first, or they, are, they want to make sure that you are successful. So always try to make your first check first. Uh, try to um, make as much of money as you can, build a team, make progress. The, the first uh, day, first month, first year, always do it as much as, you, as fast as you can so that you will be able to, um, to impress people. Uh, people don't like to hear that you have been in the business for three years, you have just been using product and just getting started. That's not good enough for them. So they want to, want to see that you are successful. And then get to the first level of rank advancement, ASAP and then progress as fast as you can to the next level. So always try to do well, be successful. That's how people attract people. Successful people attract successful people. And find the prospects. Uh, well, we have to make an active name list. And we, we, we always uh, increase the list uh, and list all the people you know and who they know. Ask for refer referrals, ask for reference, even give out some incentives to them if some people send people to you. Add a couple of new names every day, attend seminars, social media, uh, trade shows, volunteering, do everything you can to increase your name list. And I invite friends to see FOL and opportunity. Don't be a hunter or a shark. So, well, uh, I just do it uh, artistically. Don't do it like a hunter or a shark. Uh, sometimes we are just too, a little too, 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 too much or something. So just be nice and easy. Uh, become an advisor, build trust and relationship. Use your tools, video zooms, links to YouTube and vi uh, Weibo, that's the Chinese one. And the best, the best of your, be the best of yourself. I need to change that. Be the best of yourself. Be strong, be confident, be passionate, and be brave. Smile even over the phone. When you're talking, you want to be smiling. When you're smiling, people can hear. They, they don't see your face, but they can see you're smiling. So even when you're smiling, your, your voice can tell. And uh, uh, to make a phone call, uh, appointment or something to see somebody. Uh, sometimes you might have to pretend that you are in a big rush. Uh, busy people are better respected. So they don't want to be hanging out with somebody who is, who is uh, sitting home idle, doing nothing. So you always want to, want, to, want to let people know that you are a busy person. You are finding the time, squeezing the time out to see them and compliment him on something and then direct invitation and indirect invitation. That is uh, uh, sometimes we have, uh, well, different ways of inviting people. If I can show you something, what would you think? Uh, something that just, uh, uh, this is just a way of talking to people and tell, when you ask people what's the best time, give them two choice, Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, if, if you just say one time, if they are busy, then you, the door is shut. So you want to like always offer them options and pinpoint the time, make it exact. Because just don't say, call me on Monday. Well, you want to say, is a Monday afternoon at 2 p.m. a good time? They can check if they say no, then change to another time, five o'clock. What about five o'clock, six o'clock? And then hang up. So you don't want to stay on the phone too long, uh, especially in setting up appointments. And product and business OPP, that is to build a strong team, the correct du duplication is the key. You want to uh, make the team duplicatable. Don't do things that cannot be copied, cannot be duplicated. Use all kinds of duplication tools, such as meetings, flyers, Zoom calls, and Volvo, 
uh, home parties, ABC, third party research, and all of the links and, uh, uh, can help. And tell your own story. If I can, you can as well. So uh, always make the two minute uh, uh, short story about yourself, which you can uh, attract people and uh, impress people. Uh, also your background, what you like and don't like. Uh, tell people about yourself and then tell people why you make the choice, how this opportunity helped you and the current achievements and future expectations. Uh, also, when you do OPP, try to be as, as fluent with the OPP as possible. So now, uh, Michelle is getting more and more comfortable, getting more and more, uh, more and more, more and more um, efficient. Now, follow up, do what you say, and every meeting is getting ready for the next meeting. So build meetings, meeting after meeting. Uh, every meeting, every one meeting might not complete the whole job. So you want to get ready for next meeting, invite for next meeting, uh, find the next exact pinpoint time to, for the next meeting. And average four to six meetings before signing up, before is possible. So sometimes we have to go through first, second, third meeting, eventually we build it up to, to a point where they are ready to sign up. So focus on building trust, building relationship, and share information. And don't wait too long for the next meeting. Sometimes they cool down or they become too busy. So follow up uh, in a reasonably uh, good interval of time. For questions or objections, it's not always winning a debate. When you talk to people, don't, don't always uh, argue with people, but um, but if you uh, don't, it's not about winning the debate, but about making him understand what he does not know. If he feels he's not good at it, tell him you felt the same and had similar challenges before, but you overcome them. If he feels the ML, MLM is hard, ask him what he did before and why not successful. So just dig a little deeper and see what went wrong before and why he was not successful. And to close up, have a good, have good posture, emotionally detached from the result, not try to get somebody, but to try to build, uh, try to help. So Renee was always telling us every morning when you wake up, just think about who can who you can bless today, who you can help today. So we can help people with their health, with their uh, time challenges, with their financial uh, challenges or problems. You are building your business. Promote yourself. Always be prepared. Ask questions and be a great listener. Two ears and one mouth. So we, we do have one mouth so we can talk but we want to listen to other people for their concerns, for their questions, for their um, problems or weakness. So we want to find out what they need in order for us to talk more efficiently, more on the target. And typical question to ask, according to what you have heard, how much income per month is worth your efforts? Ask people. And to make such money, how much time a week or a month do you think is reasonable to secure that success? So that's going to put the, pave the way for future, uh, future topic. Because if they, uh, after three years and they say, oh, I tried Phantom Life and uh, Alpine is global, but I, I didn't make money. Then you, you ask them how much time you spend each month, each week, or in the last three years total, how much time you spend on that business. If they tell you they spend the, uh, five hours in the three, last three years, they know they are not reasonably uh, going to be successful, right? So make them, make them aware that they are going to spend some time and be persistent for two, three, four, five years before they can succeed or expect to succeed. And in order to succeed in your opulence, how, how long do you think you need to persist? 
And this is something that you can ask them upfront. If they say half a year later, they say, oh, I tried it, I didn't, I didn't succeed. Then, then did you say, did you tell you tell me when you first joined the business, you were going to persist to four years or five years? Now you did try to half a half a year and you said you are not succeeding. Just remind them what they said in the first in the first uh, first time that they uh, started the business. And if I'm if I am ready to assist you, are you ready to get started right now? Well, this is something that you can ask to close uh, if they are ready. So always ask for closing. Always ask for uh, for they joining you. Uh, don't leave the leave it too open. Uh, sometimes we need to give people time, but you are never afraid to ask. Uh, if you never ask, you will not get it. Uh, guide the new distributors. First of all, you need to validate their decision. Congratulate them. Uh, it's a new beginning for the better. So um, congratulate them, validate their decision, tell them that they made the right decision and that your success is your choice. We are here to help you to be independent. Uh, set easy targets, make the first check, and vaccination for up and down. So we want to get people prepared for the rejections, for their family fighting them back, or for the friends around them to, to, uh, to uh, put them down. So we want them to be ready. We want them to, to uh, keep the excitement going. If they run into any issues, any problem, you want to be there to support them. So vac vaccinate them before they get beat up in the society. And promoting events. Uh, build with the events. We always try to leverage the company, leverage it because your own self is always limited in what you can do, what you can, what you can influence people. But when you hire the hire the whole company, hire the leaders around the world to work for you, that's what we call leveraging the system. You want to bring them to the events. Like the, the, the next Friday and Saturday, if you are not there, well, you are not building the business yet, at least not yet. So look up for help and always reach out to your My5 if you have personal questions, if you have uh, uh, concerns, anything you go to your My5. In the big chat groups, always post uh, positive uh, testimonials and uh, uh, happy, uh, happy announcements and everything. But for your personal issues, questions, problems, always go to your my five, and associate with uh, with the positive people. Always associate with the positive energy people. Don't associate with the people who always complain, always give you negative energy, put you down. And successful people are always in the meetings and events. That's what I say when, when I say uh, Maria Baptist, Mavis, they're always in the meeting. Everywhere you have a meeting, they are there. And that's how, uh, and, that's how and why, uh, how successful they are. And uh, Han May, uh, actually Mavis did sponsor uh, Maria Baptist. <laughs> Maria Baptist is one of the best leaders and the Mavis found her through the uh, trade shows. So uh, you, you never know who you meet, okay? Happy recruiting and to the billion. Let me see how time, how time, uh, time, time is. It's, uh, oh, 10.08, 10.02, right on time. <laughs> Thank you for the, that, uh all that information i didn't know i was in charge of the video i thought because there were two co-hosts right yeah but you are the you are the one that started the whole thing the meeting so the, you are the first one that started it so i joined oh. because uh, i second to you so you are the first one that i initiated so i didn't realize that uh, I, put, I i don't have the button so but uh, it's just learning curve learning process we uh, we uh, we would like to yeah when whenever we can we want to make them the co-hosts so they can show their uh, video. Let me just make sure everybody here is on co-host. <laughs> Mary, you are co-host now. So Francis, uh, I'm, I know you are busy, but uh, we we would uh, we we don't mind uh, seeing everybody in the video. We actually love to. 
Natalia, are you from Thailand? Uh, we welcome you as well. Natalia, thank you for joining us. Wherever you are, we welcome you. I hope you learned something. Uh, I know this is uh, like always a uh, uh, familiar topic that you might miss it here and there, but it's always uh, a good idea to go over them again and again. Just have, keep them in mind. Always, uh, always um, look at uh, what best you can do in recruiting, in following up, in three-way calls, in uh, ABC. Uh, everything, the, the more you know, the better you get. And uh, that's how you become more and more successful. Then you can also train your people. You can also learn how to build your team, build your leaders, and let them do the same like you. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Lee. Right. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, thank you, Henry, for sharing all that information. Uh, if anyone has any questions, it's your last chance. It's time to wrap up. It's already 10 or 4. Well, welcome, Peter. Welcome, uh, our Thailand uh, partners. Welcome. Pater Rapong, I know you are the, one of the leaders in Thailand. Welcome you on board. Peter, you are, you are my your co-host. I can see your face now. Welcome to join us. Yes, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. We don't you're on mute. hear you. Yeah, you're muted. Great presentation. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I hope you liked the morning uh, morning uh, cocktail as well. I, I, can't, I can't attend them because I'm always at church. <laughs> oh, that's the morning. Okay. Okay. In the morning. Okay. You get right. the recording. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the back office for the recording. Is that your second time, though? As a yeah, it's the second time. It's yeah. the second time. Uh, I think maybe about half of the content we talked about was the repetition of whatever before. But we always have new, new, new. <laughs> there's always new content. Always oh, new yeah, content sure. To talk about. It's never the yeah. same. So even with the second time, third time, it's always that maybe 30, 40% is new. Sure. Uh, Peter, I went to church also. But I, I actually attend the Zoom um, when I was driving and I actually talked. I, I actually talked on the Zoom uh, when I was parking. I, I, I attend the Zoom when I, I, I was um, in the parking lot. <laughs> well, mine is from 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock. <laughs> uh, mine is studying from 11.15, that's why. Oh yeah, you're you're different then. Yeah. Yeah, Sue, I, I hope you are attending the Friday and Saturday uh, conference training, party and gala and everything. Sue, are you coming? I know uh, uh, um, what's the name? Uh, your friend, Juliet Annan, she's coming. I hope you can uh, you can join us and that's how you learn from the best of the best, the scientists. That's coming all the way from Finland. Oh, oh, really? My fountain of life shirt. Yeah, Sue, you are online. Oh, yeah, you go ahead, Sue. Hi, Henry. Yes, yeah, Sue. <laughs> uh, you coming to join us on Friday and Saturday? I totally forgot. When Julia told me about the ticket and and when I I <laughs> I want to I want to 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 come, the ticket is already more expensive than what I thought. So <laughs> I'm not coming unless just you send me you sell me the ticket same as Julia. I'll come. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, it's uh, I give you two forty nine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll call you. I'll call you, Henry. What's that? I'll I'll let you know. I'll call okay. you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you know when you come to meet the people from around the world, you talk to them, 
you get more confident. That's how you, when you break through your business, you, 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 when you are one month earlier in reaching relays level, that would be $100,000, okay? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so if the, when you, when you get ready, sure. when you have more power, you build better and you build faster. You make more money faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm in good hands, so. <laughs> yeah, a big team now, so just uh, get to more more trained and more ready to to go for bigger bigger um yeah just yeah i will aim for that thank you henry yes. for encouraging. yeah we'll be hoping to see you there <laughs> yeah okay yeah All yeah. Right. yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you i know we're going to see larry uh and his partner's team and everybody uh who else is coming larry from your team um, I have a gentleman, he lives in, uh, in uh, Toronto area, um, and um, James McVoy, I have someone coming, uh, another, another James, James Donaldson. Oh, and, James Donaldson and, um, and James McVoy, okay. Yeah, and uh, also um, uh, another James, James Polozak. Whoa. And, uh, he's, uh, he's an acupuncturist, and, uh, and uh, he has, uh, does, does, uh, um work with people and um yeah so it's uh we have a, a pretty good group coming looking forward to it great and, yeah. uh, seeing everyone do you introduce uh the acupuncturist to see me uh yes i i will i will introduce them to you yes okay great well that's how you how you build your business you bring your people to the meeting to the convention when they get uh get uh, get uh, confident, pumped up, ready to go. That's how you build your team. This time you you have three people from your team. The next year, this time you have eight people, ten people, twenty people, and the third time you have uh, forty people. That's how you did. Now by this time, my team has forty five people joining the the convention. The first the year I was just by myself. So this is how you build. Every time you 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 complete a year, you expand it by by two or three times bigger, and that's how I started. The first year I, I had a hundred and ten people in my team, and the second year I think I have three hundred, four hundred people. The third year it it goes to be about over a thousand. Now in the four months, last uh, four months I had uh, four five hundred people in the team. So I'm now climbing over fifteen hundred people in my team now. So hopefully in another year or two, I'll uh, double that to three thousand. Did you achieve that? How did you achieve that, Henry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just the way how you build. So it, it starts slow. The whole year, the first whole year is like a hundred something people, but then okay. now four months is four five hundred people. So it's it, that that by if you look at the Renee's statistics, now he's uh, every month he's getting probably uh 500 uh even a thousand people so it's it's a uh, it's when your team grows it's going to explode by exponentially and, and if you don't have team member joining the the big party conference you have to bring yourself first and that's where you start and once you get started it's right now if uh, if uh, juliet had you then she had two people next year she'll have four people five people eight people and that's how you expand, right, Sue? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the way. The, the, yeah, you just follow these successful people. What they say, tell you, you do it. Then you can be more easy to succeed. If you do everything your way, uh, it's you're going to take much longer. Yeah, definitely. And Larry, uh, how are you doing? There is doing well. Everything, everything is doing well. Uh, it was a great presentation, Henry. Uh, uh, you just uh, outlined the basics of uh, what people need to do, and of course, it's law, laws of averages. Uh, uh, you need to uh, find your own average. Uh, where uh, once you start, you may talk to 10, 15 people, and and uh, get one uh, uh, as you continue 
uh, then that number goes down, and and uh, you will um, you will partner up with uh, with more people. So it's, it's all in laws of averages. Yes, uh, you're that, long to long to that, how, that, that how it works. So it's very important to um, to uh, enjoy the company you're with, uh, uh, like Opulence. Uh, enjoy the products, and uh, and also the culture, the people uh, that. Uh, uh, you uh, associate with, and uh, last but not least, is yourself. Um, you, uh, uh, you know, enthusiasm, um, and uh, know where you want to go, and uh, just uh, just never quit. Uh, be disciplined, consistent, focused, um, and uh, the results will be there. It's it's uh, almost impossible for them not to be if you uh, if you plug in. So li listen to the calls. Listen to these calls, go to the events, uh, uh, listen to the calls on Saturday, Sunday, um, the product call Monday, um, the Tuesday call with, uh, uh, with Raman, and uh, it's all there. All the training that we need to, uh, to do is there, and we have a system in place, and it's, it's actually just, just learning the system. Uh, we can come into this business as a professional uh, in uh, in what we do, like uh, our regular jobs, if we've been doing them for any length of time, we're very professional at doing that. And uh, and when we come into this business, sometimes it doesn't work how we've done everything uh, uh, previously, and uh, we need to learn a few skills and learn this system. Once you have it in place, it absolutely works. Oh, thank Phenomenal you. Group. Phenomenal group, uh, just uh, just blessed every day to be associated with uh, everyone here. We're gonna see you uh, next weekend, right? Yes. Okay, see you again. Yeah, Mary is the LD2 and we are going to see him as well in the cruise, right, Mary? I am, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm uh, working for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not, not, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Henry. I yeah, Sue. Sorry, I misclicked. <laughs> I, I, have pros, I have prospect in Mexico, but yeah. they don't speak English. How do we how do we get them in? Mexico, we have uh, a lady, what's her name? Uh, um, there is a lady that speaks Spanish. She is in charge of the Mexican market. So we can oh. uh, ask you, Renee, and uh, he, he will uh, hook you up with her. Oh, I can I even find the number. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We have support. We have support. Wherever you want to uh, want to do it or develop, we do have support. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah. Remind me and uh, possibly ask you, Renee. Renee knows. Do you have Renee's number? No, I do not. You yeah. just find find him in all the chat groups. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. It's time to wrap up. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And uh, see you again next week, same time, 9 p.m. Yes. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. We had, uh, we had uh, uh, a tennis party today, and we signed up uh, uh, a pretty good leader. <laughs> so it's a social event. When you do it, uh, something that is always come up, uh, try it. OK. Well, I'll see you, everybody, soon, uh, again. Good luck. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.